look at us, y'all. Wow, wow, we wow. Ooh. Hey. Are we live? I have no idea what's going on. Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Hi. Hi. Just a couple seconds. Hi. Are we in? All right. Hi, everybody. Um, we're back. So, yeah, sorry about last week. If anybody tried to tune in, we, uh, life happened and, um, in a big way to a lot of people. A minute. And we <laughs> needed a, needed a, a week and to, uh, collect ourselves. But here we are. Um, so we're going to play today, um, at least for a little bit. As uh, you might be able to see, I am not in my usual spot. Um, so this sort of depends on, uh, how things go because I've got a baby sleeping behind me. <laughs> Um, but we're here and we're ready to play. So, uh, super quick recap. So last time we were, um, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. hi, baby. <laughs> hi. Hi. Life, life might still be happening. Oh, really? In <laughs> oh, <I'm cute. laughs> I know, right? That's great. <laughs> like going to start. It's, just fun, so. oh, my poor it's okay. Dad's here. Um, but sorry. So super quick recap. Um, so the bells uh, woke up from a night's rest after some drinking and some dancing and some hanging out at a tavern. Um, <laughs> I'm baby. so sorry. It's okay. It's just like background ambiance, you know. There's babies crying at the tavern, you know. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, my dad's got her. Um, yeah. But... Um, Sorry, so she, uh, sorry, so you guys woke up, um, decided that you would go to, uh, the weapons shop that Tug had discovered existed, um, to try to, uh, procure information and, I don't know, maybe a weapon or two. Um, so you headed in that direction towards, more towards the, uh, entrance of the city. Did manage to find the place and the proprietor who uh, gave you some information about some weapons that he had been selling um, and also uh, turned out that he is buddies with somebody who Sombra knew from back in the day who had been looking for her. Um, he appeared and uh, started chatting um, only to find out that uh, Sombra's sister has been wrecking some havoc around the, the area and uh, making her aware of that uh, ended up going and uh, getting some sleep because he was very very tired um, however most of the day is still ahead of you I believe that you had planned originally to go to the temple to talk to the clerics and the family that had been ill um, so you're it's probably only about noon at this point maybe even a little bit earlier uh, so you guys are at the Red Rose Tavern, right next to the inn that you had stayed at last night. So, Bells, what would you like to do? If I okay. remember, we talked about splitting up again because we I don't think I remember Cordial saying, oh yeah, by the way, I'll have an entire posse with me when I come back. So we talked about <laughs> y'all doing your friend thing and then Katie and I going back to yeah. my boy. I think mm -hmm. what we decided. Yeah. I remember Katie. that. I'm gonna okay. go investigate. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna go well. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> yes, so let's that start is with right. Friend, totally. Because I want to know who the heck you went to Avernus with, because you didn't tell us nothing. Uh, oh, no, so we, he, at the end of last episode, he had gone up to go to sleep. Um, so they had already ta talked about um, Sombra's Friend. So I think what had ended up happening was you guys had opted to go to the weapons place together um, and then after leaving had split up and Sombra and Tug and Maggie had gone back to the tavern and Cordial yes. and Zashri had gone to the temple. Mm -hmm. I believe that that was what had been decided. Sounds right. That sounds right although i could be wrong but th whatever that's what we're doing no we're i just, remember that's that. what we're gonna do <laughs> i definitely <laughs> remember sombra's uh i definitely remember sombra's embarrassment like oh god my sister like why does she have to be coming around like now 
like <sighs> I'm just Sombra is like she is just like um just in her cups at this moment and she like what time it's of day still, is it Let, like what noon. Mm -hmm, yeah it's it, like noon <laughs> noon is good enough like she's at least on her second ale like oh god okay why? i'm gonna have you roll a constitution save for me please absolutely <laughs> so it begins absolutely <laughs> happy to <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that's 14 on the die. Okay, yeah, that's Conte, 20. yeah, it's dirty 20. Yeah, so, so even though you uh, have been pounding drinks, you're still feeling, you're still feeling okay. Like, her yeah. her anger is, like, so, like bubbling under the surface, so she's, like, burning off the alcohol <laughs> before she ingests it, really. All right. Um, okay, and so with that, we will go to Cordial and Zashri, who are making their way back to the temple, um, ostensibly to meet with the family who had also fallen ill. Um, yes. So, do you guys want to do anything along the way? Katie, were you actually there for this? I don't remember. Now. I think so. I think so. Wait, maybe not. So she was there for the part where you talked to the people at the temple, but not there yeah. for the part where you talked to the arms dealer. Okay, that's fine. The arms dealer, Cordial? Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it wasn't okay. me this time. It was okay. a clandestine <laughs> underground situation, but it was not my situation. Right. It was tough situation. And I tried to make it my situation, and y'all were it. ridiculous. So. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Also, I just want to tell the audience that we ended up with zero cool things. Like, we went around and around in circles <laughs> about making it a shopping episode, and it was, like, super boring for y'all. And then we were like, no, 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 we'll do it off camera. We'll do it off camera so that it's not going to be boring. And then we did nothing. So nothing. we have, we have, this. we have so many cool things. You know, <laughs> we have so many cool things. It's just going to be a secret to the audience. Wink. Mm -hmm. yep, and a secret I was to our, ourselves. In on that. Too. It is yep. a secret to everyone. <laughs> including See, anyway, including <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> anyway. So yes, are we you? are we are headed back to the temple to talk yeah. to um Miss Ma'am and um, uh, it, I don't have my notes up because I'm worried about running the running too many tabs on my computer, That's fine. but let is, me did you put the, Did you put these ones in the handouts or these ones? No, this is just for me. Sorry, hold on one second. No problem. It's kind of uh, just like old times to just go off on our own and find clues, huh? Madam Abe. I know. I'm actually kind of excited about it. It's been great. I'm, as long as no one's going off on their own, you know. Well, I am maybe a little bit Again. worried about whatever it is that everybody else is doing because they ended up with like a. You know, we sent them for for recon on this like demonic poison, and and they, um. So I was a little thrown by the bear poison. I won't lie. I I was a little confused, but um, I mean it's. I think it's three of them and and two of us and I I'm sure that if they put their heads together it's for a reason I just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. It's, sure, it'll be fine. <clears throat> they have ways to get us if they need us, right? I don't think we actually do. It's all the head speaky thing. Literally no idea what that is. Um, you do have the telepathic bond on right now. See? See? Yeah. Head speaky thing. Yeah. Head thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> the question is if anybody remembers that they can do that, because I feel right. like Cordial always remembers and nobody else remembers. Maggie hates it, so she's not going to use Zashri it. Zashri just somehow remembered. Head speaking uh, thing. It's going to be there fine. There have been a couple times that Tug uh, left his mic on, so to speak, <laughs> in the group, in the Zoom chat. In the group chat. We can hear like the toilet flushing in the background. Yeah, Tug definitely does not remember. So a few times you've heard just like <laughs> general things like that. It'll be fine. We're not that far away. <laughs> I hope that tavern has pale ale. Okay. Madam Ava. 
Yes, Madam Ave. Yes. Ave. I was very close. You were. <laughs> um, yes, so you guys arrive uh, at the temple um, and are greeted by uh, another one of the clerics that work there in her vestments, as I think we discovered that they're called. Uh, she leads you, um, she's expecting you, says hello, welcomes you in, and um, leads you back to uh, the office that you were in before, where Madame Abe is seated behind a desk. Um, oh, hello, come in, yes. Oh, it is so good to see you again. Um, please, have a seat. Uh, the um, Manari. Uh, now this sorry, really no. is good background noise because we're in like right? the temple. Perfect. <laughs> now then there's people coughing. So, Tracks. Uh, Eliza and Alamin will be in um, in just a few minutes. I believe they are uh, still on their way, but they are, say that they are coming. So uh, we should see them very shortly. Uh, okay. And that's the dis- couple that was sick, or is that the the person yes. who's treating them? No, no, that's the couple that was sick. Um, uh, Mariana, she uh, will be here a little bit later, um, but she is coming also later today and she will be able to speak with you uh, about the treatments that she administered to the, uh, to Alamin and, and Eliza. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Um, well, I am going to do some rounds, but uh, as soon as they are here, I will I will bring them in. So just um, hold tight, and uh, I'll be right back. And she goes uh, and walks out to do whatever she's going to do. Um, do you guys want to do anything in the meantime? Um, just like casually look around the room, see if there's anything interesting. Not in a you know like theft kind of way, but just curiously. <laughs> Sure, sure. Um, I mean, there's some cool artwork on the walls, uh, mostly stuff that's like um, sort of like uh, healing hands type of things. Uh, And, you know, that's pretty much it. There's not anything that's super interesting. Some books. Kind of a calming presence in here, Cordy. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like being around you. It's just like home, really. Yeah, um, and I'm I'm kind of looking around, and I think she really can't help herself. So if there's anything that looks <laughs> like it could be done, or anyone that looks like she could help, like you, if you're a nurse, like you you just ha- you just have the muscle memory, right? Like you just mm-hmm. so if there's anybody around, she's just gonna start doing the thing. Um. <laughs> so where you guys are is sort of an office area, so you don't see anybody that's like that looks ill or sick uh, near where you are. You know, on the way in, you passed by some rooms that appeared to have like patients in them, but where you are currently is more of, it looks like administrative. So you can't really see anybody that would be in need of help. Um, okay, that's probably yeah. for the best so she doesn't get distracted. distracted. So instead she just hears this little tiny baby cough in the background and goes, well, I hope that little one's okay. <laughs> Seems like they're in good hands. They yeah. are. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, she just said, Dad. <laughs> oh! That you know. was everything. <laughs> that was everything. Oh. So um, Aww. Every so time after... he does that, he gets Dad Vantage. Yes. He does. Yeah. Um, so after about 10 minutes of waiting, uh, Madame Ave comes back in with a. Uh, a drow gentleman, a human gentleman, and uh, sorry, a drow gentleman, what the f*** am I doing? And a half-elven woman who um, come in and sit down uh, in two chairs that are next to you and uh, just kind of look at you. Uh, and no, sorry, the woman speaks up like, um, hi, I, uh, uh, I'm Eliza. I heard that you wanted to speak with us. Oh, hi. Yes. Um, is there, looking around, is there anywhere, like, private? Or is this, like, the, the private? So that we yeah, don't so where you guys... uh, HIPAA violation anything? <laughs> no, where you guys are, it's, it's like a separate office area. So you're very much uh, by yourselves. Um, Madame Ave has closed the door so that it's, you know, not eavesdropping. No one's going to eavesdrop on your conversation. 
Gotcha. So, um, hi, my name is Cordial, and this is Zashri, and we are in town um, investigating, and it seems like, well, it seems like maybe what you went through is part of the kind of epidemic that we are, that we're studying. So I, we were just wondering if we could hear a little bit about your story and then maybe ask you some questions. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. We, uh, well, she kind of pats the, the gentleman on the knee. Um, I, I would say that, you know, we um, don't remember too much, although quite a bit of time passed between the time we got ill and, and recovered. Uh, it uh, seems like, you know, we, uh, we were just doing fine and then uh, over the course of a day or two just went downhill really quickly. Um, Minari was the one who brought us in and um, he said that uh, uh, he said that we just suddenly fell very ill and um, he brought us here and uh, you know we were here for a while and he would check in on us from time to time and um, <sighs> that we just weren't really getting much better. Um, Poor baby. So real quick, does it the the name she mentioned is that one of the people here or does that sound like it might have been her tiefling friend uh it sounds like it was her tiefling friend okay can you say it one more time minari minari m-i-n-i-a-r-i and marina is the name of the woman who is tending to them marianne okay marianne and minari Hmm. It sounds like they don't, you don't really remember a lot about it. (laughs) Yeah. Sounds like you don't really uh, remember a lot about it, though, that you just got brought here and you don't. Well, yeah, we, um, I mean, I remember not feeling well for a day or two and then uh, just sort of collapsing and the rest is a bit of a haze. Uh, I think I might have woken up a couple of times here, but it's, it's hard to remember. Scary. From what you recall, did did you suffer any of these list of symptoms that are what Lunara and other people have had? That I totally yeah. know and I list them. I definitely <laughs> remember all of those. <laughs> been like, a like just reading out the Zyrtec side effects. <laughs> <laughs> Bloating, fatigue, dry mouth. <laughs> um, well, I, I remember that before... Uh, before I collapsed, I, I was feeling very, very dizzy and weak. I was having trouble walking a little bit. Um, but then, you know, after, after I, I, I'm told that, um, yes, those, those were some symptoms that I did have. Although, again, it's very hazy, a lot of it. Um, we, uh, you know, we were unable to do much of anything for quite some time. They took care of us very well here. Uh, Marianne might have some more information, but I, I, I don't know. Um, so from what we've been studying, this particular sickness may possibly affect tieflings different from other races. So if I could just ask you a few questions about that. Um, so your friend who I'm, I'm too pregnancy brain to remember names. I'm sorry. Um, it's totally fine. I, I, it's, 100% I understand. Every time I say tiefling, I want you to put the correct name in there in your brain. Okay, <laughs> just do that for me. Tiefling. Um, <laughs> Insert name here. Please just. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. I've never been pregnant, but I just have. Right. Brain all the I was going to say, so, like, that, you know. I mean, <laughs> feel, feel free because you am? got that as an excuse. Me? <laughs> Not um, that. <laughs> I'm absolutely Same. using it. Um, Do it. So, your uh, your tiefling friend who helped take care of you, and they sound so lovely for for helping in you know in your time of need. Did they have? And then like, um, uh, we had when we talked to my dad, there were mm-hmm. symptoms that we talked about. Correct for the tiefling, or yeah, were so there not? Was- and it seemed normal. So they, the thing with that was that they would seem normal, but it was actually that they have, they were basically being mind controlled by uh, somebody. 
and that um, so that Alarming. they would probably have no memory of the of the time. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yep. No, so no, that no. all tracks. So they almost seem more like carriers, really, where where they don't have. There's no symptoms to speak of. Um, so it, it's possible that your tiefling friend did have the same thing that you did, and just you wouldn't know it. Um, or gave so, it to you somehow, accidentally, not knowing. So, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to just go through a list of, you know, talk about some of the things that you were eating and drinking, and maybe some of the places that you had been, and, um, uh, and, and we can kind of go from there. Oh, yes, certainly. Um, well, uh, uh, we just, you know, we mostly eat at home, we shop at the market. Uh, Minari uh, is often the one who makes our food and, and does most of the shopping, so you might um, get more information from him. Uh, he's he's at our home still. Um, he's been there. You know, he, he was checking in on us so much and he's been so helpful uh, that we, you know, he, he extended his stay a little bit just to continue to check on us for, for a little while longer to make sure that we recovered. Um, but yeah, he does most of our shopping, so he, he might be better to, to ask about those things. Um, it's part of his, his board that we ask him to do that. That makes sense. Um, so how long was he staying with you before you guys started feeling these symptoms? Not necessarily that it's related, but we want to make sure we have all the information, you understand? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Um, uh, he well, was like, only with us for. She's not going to lie to them, but she also doesn't want to make them feel like he's purposefully getting them sick because she knows that it's probably someone else is purposefully getting him sick. So, like, she's trying to be, like, even handed about it. Where I'm, like, just tell me. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, yeah. So <laughs> she's like, oh, well, um,. I suppose he was only with us for maybe two weeks beforehand. Um, you know, he had come into town recently looking for a place to stay. Um, said that he had business to conduct here. Ooh, excuse me. And that he just needed to stay for, for a month or two. And well, like he's obviously extended his stay quite a bit to make sure that we are uh, in good hands and in good health. That's very kind of him. Um, Sashri, do you have any other questions that you wanted to ask them? No, I mean you're the you're the healer. Yeah, you know a lot yeah, more about this I, than I do, and I am definitely a medical expert and would I know all the things. Totally, that you ask mm -hmm. someone definitely in this situation. <laughs> um, can I just get like just a general insight check? Quick vibe check. Yeah. Yeah, quick vibe check. check. Can I assist with that? Yes. I insight? Ooh. No. Nope, I can't. I cannot. That's okay. Uh, you can both roll separately if you want to. 26. 26. Nope, never mind. Just nope, kidding. don't need yeah. to. Nope. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you get the impression off of this woman that she's been through a lot. <laughs> Um, Poor baby. She's been through a lot, and that she's probably pretty, still pretty exhausted from everything. Um, but she, it definitely seems like she's she's being truthful in, in the information that she's giving you. Although I think you get the impression with the twenty six, you get the impression that she also feels like she's missing something. Like there's something that she feels like she doesn't know that's going on, but she doesn't, but she doesn't know, like genuinely does not know. That is very fair. Um, so let's just pretend I ask her some like normal questions that all doctors ask and probably like, you know, what have you been eating and what, you know, the, the date of the last unusual period. happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> Cause you have to ask that apparently. Um, so like, let, let's, we'll just go through some, some questions like that. And then, so you said that you're, you're, uh, tiefling roommate was making most of the most of the food and everything for you while he was uh taking care of you what kind of things did you eat or or drink like what what was kind of your diet 
oh goodness, all kinds of things. You know, we get so many good things from the uh, from the merchants in this area. Yeah, I mean, Minari is an amazing cook. You know, he's lived all over, and so he would come up with all kinds of amazing things. Um, we had a couple of really interesting dishes, and uh, mostly he, we would just have like ale or tea. Uh, to drink. There was this one specific kind of tea that he would get from one of the merchants that was just oh, so wonderful. I don't know exactly where it came from, though. That's That would be a question for him. Mm-hmm. Well, tea, you say? This sounds like a job for me. Cordial's inner voice sounds like my voice. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> tea. You know when dogs get the like ears? <laughs> tea. Yep. Tea? Yeah, that just ears happened. Perk up. Tea? That's exactly <laughs> what just happened. Um, <laughs> oh, tea, that sounds so interesting. You know, there are so many different herbal teas and they can be so good for you in so many different ways. It really is the sort of thing where you have to kind of examine the whole blend all together if they're obviously not saying that this is necessarily what caused it because it really could be any number of factors but i think that would be an interesting thing to look into also i really like tea oh okay uh well yeah like um like i said uh, minari would probably be the person to speak to uh he was the one who would procure all of that for for us and um i i don't know exactly where it comes from honestly it just I, it was just pretty good <laughs> it was like a, a red color i don't know he put some milk in it it's very tasty um and then question for the dm we said that we were going to talk to the nurse as well was she she wasn't here today she was going to be here tomorrow correct um she wasn't oh. here yesterday but she is here today okay um i'm going to just in the mind link with zashri Probably it would be good to still talk to the nurse, but I feel like we got kind of a good lead. So I would yeah. prefer to kind of chase this down first. Yeah, it seems like they've uh, they've already told us everything. They know I'm not sure the nurse would have much more to offer. Although, you know, it can't hurt. Okay, so, well, if you don't mind, this has been extremely helpful. Would, would you uh, mind to show us back to your home and then we could talk to your tiefling friend and, and maybe look around a little bit. We've gotten some really great info so far. Oh, um, yeah, you can, you can absolutely come by. Um, uh, he should be at the house. So, uh, I believe, you know, I don't, he hasn't really been doing much else except taking care of us. So anytime you want to come by should be fine. Sure. And just, Real quick, before we go, um, just part of the normal routine that, you know, it, that we do when we're uh, interviewing patients that may have had this particular sickness, um, if, if you don't mind, and she's gonna, she's gonna come up and she's just gonna cast, um, she's just gonna cast guidance on both of them, so it's just gonna feel like, you know, quick, kind of warm, little bit of sparkly situation. Um, yeah. How did that feel? Are you okay? Yeah, uh, felt a bit nice, actually. That was warm. Oh, perfect. Lovely. Okay, well, if if you're ready to go, we're ready to go with you. Oh, excellent. Okay, yeah. Um, you can, uh, were you going to come with us to the... Sorry, did you want to go with them to their house now, or do you want to stop yes. and talk to the nurse? Okay. Um, we, I want... I think what we decided is going with them to their house to talk to this tiefling. Okay. Yeah? Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. And then you can cut back. We can take turns yeah. if you want. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> cut scene. Uh, what is going on at the tavern? Sombra is drinking. Is anybody yeah. else drinking? <laughs> Day drinking. <laughs> I'm... Oh, go ahead, Allie. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna say, Tug is sitting there with just a glass of water kind of looking up at Sombra being like, I mean, I love a good IPA, but isn't it like a little bit early? 
like coming from Tug, you know that that's kind of like a. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's about to say, well, you know what, Tug? Uh, coming from you, yeah, that's that's definitely something. I mean, it is five o'clock just... somewhere. Yeah, it's five o'clock in my brain right now. Um, because let's just say that my sister, she, hmm. Oh, there's no, there's no nice way to put this. She's a bitch. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I just, knowing that she is in town or even anywhere near here right now gives me the hives because, let me just say, she's not the nicest person. Well, what's not nice about her? Well the way that she thought that I was stupid and that I was you know a good person to somehow lay the blame on because she almost got me arrested oh mm -hmm. and when she got arrested instead <laughs> well I'm sure she was heated about that but that's not my fault so she always threw you under the bus oh yeah well that's the thing she didn't always i found out later that she was oh. about to yeah I yeah mean, you're right that does sound like a bitch i mean and we were we were we were doing fine we she came and she found me and i didn't even know that i had a sister on my dad's side so like she's oh your dad's sister. side yeah so different moms whatever and so she heard that she had a sister she came to find me and to be honest uh, we weren't we were kind of up to no good like we were going through like a, a couple little shenanigans here and there like Somebody needed somebody to, you know, kind of flex and be enforcer style. Yeah, we, oh, we, we got, we got paid for that. You know, somebody needed to be roughed up. We did that. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think, um, yeah, Sombra will be, she'll be open about it. Um, you know, I mean, it's sure we took a couple things, maybe. Oh. We weren't supposed to, but... Maggie, high five, Sombra. No, no, no. No, I don't... <laughs> I don't do that to... I mean, it was kind of cool the way that we, you know, executed it. Yeah, it's all right. to do that. No, but I I feel bad about it. Like, there was just some things... That, now that I, I think back on my time with her, I don't know whether or not that was like a Robin Hood kind of like there's this little who's robin hood you 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 haven't heard that oh is this this tale that sometimes the bards talk about where it's like this idea this this person this guy that would steal from the rich and give to the poor and you know it sounds like something i would do wealth redistribution hmm. which is fine you know but i don't think it was like that nice of a thing at all really we were just we were just you know out for ourselves and we made good money doing it and uh the last time that i saw her we were going to steal something much bigger <gasps> than was it a bag was it a bag no. that went to a portal no i don't even know what it i was. did that I don't even know what it was, but it was in this noble's house that was like <gasps> big mansion, beefy security. Like, remember the wedding that and we went to? In? Well, remember the wedding that we went to? Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. The mansion was like classier than that, even. And they oh. had security everywhere. And I was like, like the night it was supposed to pop off, I was like, mm, I don't know. Just. There was like a sixth sense that told me, mm, no, no, this doesn't feel right. And on top of it, there was people asking around, like, 
have you heard about what's been going on? They heard about the thefts that we were committing. And then so, you know, authorities were like going around asking around and stuff. And uh, I've, I've got, I kind of got the feeling like my sister was gonna like you know rat me out so i kind of ratted her out first a little no. bit but what if she wasn't gonna do that and no. now she doesn't like you because you did that no no she she definitely yeah and i'm sure um uh, dario could probably confirm like if dario is um before he left or if he's left by now dm like Dario will probably be like, yeah, just chilling there behind you. Yeah, like, no, like, I'm yeah. still here. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> sure. Oh yeah. my god. Hey, 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 hey. And Ryan. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, probably based off of what Dario was like, yeah, you need to do something about your sister, cause <laughs> you know, I feel like that's what how Dario <sighs> would feel like. But yeah, no, um. Yeah, she was like, I found out from a couple mutual friends of ours. They were kind of like telling me, like in the week leading up to the heist, like, yeah, be careful about your sister, cause you know, cause there's other people that we will work with every once in a while. They'd be like, yeah, mm, you may want to watch your back with that one. So, kind of dropped hints to the authorities what was going down, and then I just booked it out of there. Sure enough, they came and got her. And woo, she was heated. I could hear her yelling. She was like, she was like yelling my name, and she was like, "Where you at?" And mm, yeah. So oh. during this, Tug is just kind of like wide-eyed, with kind of like a like, okay, and like kind of nodding and active listening. And at that point, he just gets up, and he goes over to the bar, and he comes back with a full round of drinks. Yes. Yeah. Our yeah. background game is on point today. Yeah. I know. Look at <laughs> Hi buddy. <laughs> so cute. Oh. It's Maggie. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> so um so yeah, so Tug, oh you the man right now. Thank you. Just he's just gonna yeah. pat Sombra on the back and he's I guess I'll like, drink. Sisters. <sighs> Put it this way, I'm just glad that I found this group because this group has been my found family. So, two found family. <laughs> and she didn't drink to that. <laughs> mm. This is good. Yep. <laughs> so, but. Maggie doesn't drink, right? Nope. Oops. All right, I'm gonna have you roll con. Oops. I figure I might as well have some fun. Ooh. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so one fail save. I'm gonna say you start to get. One. Yeah. Okay, one. you start to get the spins just a little bit. You're like, whew. All right. Like so half a cup. You have one fail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, at that point, uh, you know, basically, Sombra is like, well. Her name is Tess, and Tess. she's kind of a uh, she's red skin tiefling like me. Okay, and, so not hard to miss. Mm-hmm. Um, and she has dark black hair. Uh, and she, uh, you know, you basically if you see a red skin female tiefling walking around like she owns everything, well, mm, that's Tess. And I don't know what she might be up to, but nothing good apparently. Yeah, we just gotta keep our head on a swivel. That's it. So like you see, I feel like you see Maggie like write down these things. It's very badly written because she's a little drunk. Yeah. Whoa. But oh, girl. I have okay. an idea, Sombra. Okay. And and Tug, listen. Uh oh. What if I change my name? change your name what would you change your name to just just picture it in wanted posters maggie hood <gasps> oh that kind of has a ring to it though right? mm. okay i think i'm gonna run with it 
See, and it would be good because they won't really know that you could change your form. You know what I mean? So like, and maybe could... I'll even find Robin Hood. <gasps> I don't know. Like, you just I see think... Maggie is like, she's gone. She's just yep. thinking about Robin Hood now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real person. I mean, I feel like it, it is just now. Like, well, <laughs> but that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Cut and scene. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, actually, that's probably a good spot for us to take a quick break. I'm gonna take care of this, and um, yeah, we will uh, return after a couple of minutes with uh, the tiefling question mark. Absolutely.
Yes! Yes, queen! Yes, queen! <laughs> what were her first <laughs> words? Yes, queen! Yes, queen. <laughs> we all heard it! It was on stream! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Are we back? I have no idea. We're ready. Oh, yeah, we should, no, we are. Are. We should be back. We should be back. Okay, 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 okay. We were definitely not just screwing around for the last one. Hey, what? what are you doing, chat? Oh, we were being um, professional. Yeah. We are consummate um, professionals. What up, chat? We have our professional moments. People know this. <laughs> Occasionally. Listen, we have a sound. You sure. are sound on point, which is really what professional Twitch streamers have. Like that's yeah. that's all you can ask for. Indeed. Um, all right, so we are <laughs> returning to uh, Cordial and Zashri, making their way to the home of uh, Eliza and um, Alman, who were the people who had fallen ill to meet Minari, the uh, the Tiefling border. Um, so you guys walk for probably about 20 minutes into one of the more residential areas of the city. Um, come to the door of a town home uh, that they enter. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, that they enter into. It's a really like nice, cozy home. Fires roaring in the fireplace, rugs. Uh, couple of chairs and tables. Um, you can smell what smells like cooking meat, so it seems like somebody's probably making something right now. Uh, and as you enter, you do see sort of around the corner in a kitchen area what looks like a purple-skinned tiefling gentleman who seems to be just humming to himself while cooking. Um, she's just gonna come in and <laughs> knock, knock, knock! Hello! Oh! Uh... Uh, hello. Uh, oh, uh, Eliza Alleman. So, so good to see you again. Uh, I, I didn't realize you'd be coming back so soon. I thought that you'd be out for quite some time. Uh, well, anyway, I made some breakfast. I can certainly whip up some more for... Uh, hello, my name's Minari. What, uh, and you would be? I'm Sashri. Cordial. I'm Cordial. <laughs> um... And this guy is not that tall. He's probably about 5'5". Five, five. So, Zashri, when you introduce yourself, he's like... Oh. <laughs> Cordial's 5'2", uh, so he's still taller than <clears throat> Which And Zashri's, like, like, very much on guard for any shenaniganry that looks even remotely, like, mind control. Not that she would know what that looks like, but just in case. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to have you roll a perception check. And while you do that... Uh, I feel like I need to point out that my, I'm in New Orleans right now. My best friend is 5'2", and she lives here. <laughs> and I'm six feet tall. And so <laughs> when we get together, it is very much a cordial and Zachary situation <laughs> where like he is this <laughs> tiny little thing who is like absolute chaos entity. And I'm the tall, like stoic one. He's like, <laughs> Okay, I rolled a 23. 23. Yeah. She might know what mind control looks like. She might. <laughs> She's like... Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that at the moment, you don't necessarily notice anything, but I am going to keep that in mind going forward. Okay. Okay. Right. She's a little bit, like, trying to be nice, but still kind of in, like, guard dog mode. Okay. As she does. Um, As she does. <clears throat> As she does. Uh, all right. <clears throat> uh, so he, yeah, he kind of looks up at you like, uh, and then looks at Cordial and is like, oh, hi. Uh, well, it's it's nice to meet you both. I can certainly whip up something uh, for you. I wasn't expecting more company. <laughs> sort of uh, looks a little bit sideways at Eliza and Alamin. They sort of give him a little nod. Ah, oh, yes, well, um, table's all set. He grabs two chairs. He runs and grabs two chairs from the living room and pushes them in at the table and sort of motions for you guys to all sit starts busying himself with setting down there's like a plate of eggs and some bacon and a very like very fancy or not fancy but like pretty generous breakfast spread um as he's you know trying to look at, yeah, just like, oh well, i have some potatoes i add to, i can make some more pancakes this is this this is fun. sort of bumbling around in the kitchen um and Eliza pipes up like, uh, actually, uh, Minori, they had some questions for you, uh, if you don't mind just 
this is lovely and, and thank you for making it, but um, they had some questions that they would want to ask you. So maybe if you could just come and sit for a second. And she literally like grabs him by the elbow and steers him to the table as if like she doesn't do that. He's never going to stop cooking. <laughs> like, <laughs> sits him down. Very fair and uh, understandable. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll finish uh, taking care of everything. Um, and uh, she busies herself sort of setting the rest of the food on the table and pours you all some tea and uh, also has a seat. And he sort of uh, looks a little... <laughs> so what can I help you with? Uh, so Cordial's going to like take out her little notebook that she's been writing all her, her uh, notes and stuff on. And while she takes out her notebook, she's just going to think to Zashri, okay, be ready just in case. Um, so she's like putting a bite of egg in her mouth that just got put on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yes, excellent protein. It helps you ready. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, um, what we mentioned to your friends here is that we are specifically in town investigating a particular sickness that sounds a lot like what problems they were having. And some of what we've heard reported from other people is that it, it affects tieflings much differently and it's almost more like a carrier sort of situation where you don't even see the symptoms but you might very well still have it so um, we were very curious to come back here and and talk to you and ask you a couple questions about it just to get as much information on this sickness as we can and if you don't mind um, I would love to do just a, a, just a quick look over um just to see how you're doing and and if we could start there oh yeah certainly i don't see why not um and she is going to uh basic you know like you look in someone's eye and you do the thing and like okay open your mouth eh, like you know the, the normal things um, uh-huh. And then she is also going to cast Greater Restoration on him. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Because we're so good at sneaky. <laughs> well, that's also that's also part of why she cast Guidance on the other two, is so that, like, yes, this is a normal part of the process. Um, Definitely. Look, casting, you know, don't you feel yes, glowy and good? Yes, not be concerned when you hear me casting things. This is normal. Yeah. Um, so yes, I'm cat. That's a fifth level spell is greater restoration. Hot. Um, okay. And it's, it's instant. It's, it, you know, I just touch him and it and do it. So does he, I don't know if I need an insight check for this. Does he seem to be any particular different before or after? Um, he doesn't know. He seems exactly the same and a little bit like he, he seems a little nervous. Okay, perfect. Um, that, well, you seem to be in perfect health, so that is excellent. I'm not actually seeing any residual symptoms that you might have had this, so that's very good. Um, would you mind, some of the people that we've talked to, this is spread through food. So I, we we aren't sure at this point if that's how it is for everyone so we're just trying to cover all our bases if you wouldn't mind just talking a little bit about some of the food that you guys have had i know they they mentioned you've brought in some more exotic teas and things um just just trying to get kind of a a a list or some sort of overview oh uh food yeah uh well i i I shop at the market um i shop the market and um it, it, I shop from all different kinds of vendors, and um, yeah, there's a there's a gentleman who uh, has all kinds of different teas that he normally brings in from all over. Uh, I've heard, um, and uh, it, mostly he, though he works down in um, in Les, where uh, he says that they have some of the best, and um, it, that's that's where I get that from, and then. Uh, it's a it's a red blend. It's wonderful. Um, you can have some if you like. I still oh, have it. Oh, that sounds lovely. I love tea. Oh, certainly. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, and he goes to get up and, and starts making you guys some tea. She's going to get up with him just very casually. And this this is like the cordial kicking in where she's like, ooh, someone has a tea cabinet. I must go see what's in the tea cabinet, as any tea drinker does. Um, so this is not sneaky sneaky. This is, ooh, someone has tea. I'm going to go look at the tea now. Um, so it's a lot more like that, but also just the normal, like, you know, picking up and, ooh, yeah, smell this one. This one's got vanilla in it. And they just do a minute of, like, gushing for a bit. Um, <clears throat> looking at the red blend that he was talking about and kind of smelling it and everything before it's actually steeped. Um, do I, can I kind of pick out what the heck is going on in there? Sure, I will have you can roll investigation, and because this is tea, you can roll it at advantage. <laughs> yes. Zatri's sitting there planning on how she will murder someone if they try to poison cordial with tea. <laughs> that would be like the ultimate betrayal. I'm so glad I have so... advantage on this because I rolled a nat one and I have a negative one, so I rolled a zero. Um, but wow. the second roll was a 13, so it's a 12. Oh, wow. <laughs> Investigators in the world! Oh dear. Okay, but it was a 12, but it was a 12. It was just almost a zero. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank God for good. So, it does, so you can definitely tell that something is a little off. Um, it smells a little funky. Um, and you notice that there are like, looking at it, and you know tea. I mean, you've seen all kinds of tea, but there's like these black flecks in it that you wouldn't expect to be in something like this. Um, Zashri actually, as he goes to get up to the, to go to the cabinet, you notice that it looks like he is incredibly nervous and he started sweating. Okay, she's gonna mind speak to Cordial and be like, do not drink that tea. Something's going on. He's super Where nervous. No drinking We're that. Like, I know you like tea, but don't do it. <laughs> so, verbally, there's like, ooh, notes of raspberry. And internally, it's like, there's some weird stuff in this tea. I cast Greater Restoration on him and nothing happened, so I don't think he was mind controlled. But if he, if he hasn't changed anything and there's something different about this tea, he might be in on it then. We gotta find out more about this vendor. Yeah, or I can corner that guy in the kitchen and ask him why he was trying to feed you poison tea. I don't think that's necessary. Oh my gosh, Joshua, <laughs> look, this one over here has blackberry and pineapple. pineapple oh yeah? Favorite. Can we try this Great. one? Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love pineapple. <laughs> uh, yes, well, um, it's uh, that one's a different blend. It comes from a, a different uh, person in, in uh, the market. Um, but here, and, and he starts boiling the water and uh, goes to pour it and like, just his hands are shaking a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, if you look past me, that's up. Yeah, go ahead. And say yeah, yeah. Hey, and she, it's actually just gonna be like, yo, what's the ingredients in that other than pineapple? What? Uh, uh, that's a nat 20 for a 27, ma'am. Hey! Hi. Hi. Lighting it up. Um, so you, with everything that's going on, the tea, Zashri, like, being able to tell that look, this guy is kind of freaking out, you are getting the impression that, like, he, you are asking questions that are making him incredibly nervous, um, that he, uh, you're getting the sense that he feels very out of his depth at the moment. What's the name of the of uh frickin the demon whose blood this these things is i cordial knows jenna doesn't oh, freaking know I, let me go through my notes let me go through my notes i don't was, remember if we had the was, actual... was it a different one than sombra's dad this was a plot twist reveal like literally last year yeah so, i think it was i think that was actually or That's one of his henchmen was. Yeah, it was, that was the, yes, Dariel and I had, um... It was Zoloth, the guy Zoloth. that you fought. Right, I was, my brain was like, med. Yeah, I couldn't remember <laughs> his name, but yeah, it was Zoloth, the demon that you fought Zoloth. and killed. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was it. That was the whose blood was going into these things. So ingredients: okay. pineapple and. Oh well, I, I don't know exactly. It's got some notes of, of uh, blueberry, I, I guess. I don't really know where it gets its color. Uh, I just buy it I, 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 and brew it. I, I don't know a whole lot about it. I mean, you, emotions to cordial. You, you seem to know quite a bit about tea. You could, you could probably tell me. <laughs> yes, my family does herbal tea blends uh, professionally. That's kind of my whole background, and honestly, part of how I got into healing. Oh yes, you. Oh, you, you do healing. Oh. Uh, yes, well, I'm a professional cleric. Um, so this one, and I think, honestly, I think the, the blackberry pineapple one is just going to be lovely with what you were, I mean, the pine, the pineapples, the pancakes, the pancakes, I think specifically would just really ring with it. I had to, I had to. <laughs> it's so great. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the. <laughs> so here's the thing. My, when my husband's around, he can translate when I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But when he's not around, I just have to. You're on your own, man. <laughs> um, you just just like, <laughs> that's just like um so she kind of picks up the one that has the black flakes in it again and she's like well this one's really interesting because and she lists literally every ingredient in it but then she kind of but there's these little black flakes and i'm not actually sure what these black flakes are and i've seen almost every tea ingredient there is so this is a really interesting one it must be a very rare blend uh, well, y- yes, I, I suppose it is. It's, uh, it's the only time I've ever seen it. The, the seller said that it was, it was very rare, uh, which is why I bought it. I, I thought it would be nice for, for, uh, Eliza and, and Alamin. You know, they, they, they take very good care of me. Did we ask the couple, because now I don't remember, did we ask them if anything had changed when they started getting better? Uh, no. Yes, yeah, so you, gave, you gave this to them the whole time they were sick? Oh, no, I, I, I didn't give them anything while they were sick. I, I didn't administer anything. I, I just checked in on them. Uh... I would like to insight check that statement. <laughs> okay, you can insight check that statement. <laughs> With oh, that. He is time. not passing insight. the vibe checks. I would also like to do that if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, that's a good idea With because... prejudice. <laughs> plus yeah. zero over here. That's a three. Uh, that was a nat 20, <laughs> so 27. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Is nat 20 on hey. Cordial is on his scent. You're like... So someone is using tea to hurt people. (laughs) Whatever his deal is, Zashri is not the one to figure it out. No, but But um, she might punch him in the face. I was gonna say, but you're still like (laughs) getting close. I mean, you're like this man is fucking suspect. Uh, Cordial, you can tell that he he is definitely lying about the fact that he was visiting them when they were sick. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, mm-hmm. you know that he was, in fact, visiting when they were sick because the clerics told you. Yeah. You're getting the impression that he doesn't know that he did that. Oh. He doesn't know that he did that. He was mind then... controlled. Because he was mind controlled. Or maybe he just didn't yeah. know what the tea was. You're getting the impression that, like, oh. he... He's, 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 he's missing chunks of time. Know. Yeah, he's missing time okay. some time. So, all right. Well, and then in the in the Zoom, um, well, I think it might be time to have a little fun. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not. Okay. I'm not loving this guy. Yeah. So, let's just be honest and see what happens. So we finish yep. making the yep. tea. That was my next step too. <laughs> She's like, yes, that's definitely what I was thinking. Um, so we finished making the tea, <laughs> small talk, you know, how's your mom, that sort of thing, sit down, and then at the table. So, um, 
you know, since we're all here, I might as well, we might as well talk about some of the findings that we've had. And then if anything sounds kind of familiar, you know, just jump in. So uh, from what we understand, this particular sickness uh, comes from some sort of potion or alchemical something uh, that involves archdemon blood. And it's specifically to mind control tieflings. And she's just making very cordial eye contact with him the whole time. But if it happens to go to anybody else, say half orcs, or say, I don't remember what this couple is, but whatever Drow. they are. Drow, I think. Drow. Drow. Drow, for example, then they get horribly sick and there really isn't a cure until they stop being given this this potion. Um, so the well, interesting so thing is that- Real quick, I want to interject because you, you do know that um, what cured Lunara was when the demon was slain. She got better. Gotcha. Yes. Not that she stopped. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sorry. I just wanted to make sure that. Yeah, that's good um, because. Yeah, we, we, had, we gave her like a temp, like a temp potion yeah. from Cornelius, and then that gave us enough time to like get down there. Gotcha. Perfect. Yes. Yes. And yes. Really, the only thing that we found has helped, honestly, is killing the demon whose blood is in the potion. Now, we have already done that for at least one demon. Um, and when we came in here and I was giving you a little check out, I cast Greater Restoration and it doesn't seem like anything's happened to you. So I don't think that you were just now being mind controlled by anything, but it's very interesting that you're trying to tell us that you haven't gone to visit this couple when we know that you have, and you have this very interesting tea that's got very strange little black flecks in it from some unknown tea source. Um, so I'm just kind of wondering, and she just kind of like puts her hands down on the table and moves her shoulders around <laughs> a little bit. So do you have full memory of everything that happened during that period of time? And maybe did something change a little bit around names period of time when we killed Zoloff? <laughs> um, okay, I am going to have you roll persuasion, and I'm going to have Zashu roll intimidation. Yep, I was going to ask to roll intimidation. <laughs> I found it, by the way. It was April 11th of 2021. Wow. You want to hear something oh, fun? Ooh, that feels like forever uh, ago. Would you like to hear something fun? I would love to hear something. 20 of the yeah. night, that's a third. What? That's wild. Please, you're another nat twenty. Wow, girl. Oh my god. I'm it. This is this is apparently all I do. This is. I really hope that we don't get into battle later because I'm going to be doing one point of damage at a time. But for now, <laughs> I'm like next time on the episode, the next episode of Super Detectives. Dang, like this. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, can yeah, screenshot no, because I'm using I'm using the dice on D and D Beyond, so I can give you a screenshot if you if you need it. No, mm. oh, that's it come, that yeah. I think it comes up for you guys Dang on the screen. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, that 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 oh my god! Balance. Yeah. Um, versus balance. So instead of that, I was looking at trying to remember what in the F I could even do as Ashri, because it's been a long time. Um, can I use intimidating presence? Yes. Okay, so I can frighten a creature I can see within 30 feet if it can hear, see and hear me, must succeed on, succeed on a wisdom saving throw, DC 12, or be frightened until the end of the next turn. Is that when you pull your wings out? Yeah, maybe it is. Spooky. I'm going to so actually wait on that to see... Oh, so he fails. Okay, I'm not going to do it just now. I'm going to see how he okay. answers this, and then if okay. I don't like it... Yeah. yeah, if I don't like it... Shit, but, all right. Um, so as so cordial as you kind of give him the like, mm, <clears throat> he uh, okay, 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 okay. Listen, I I lost months of time. I, I don't know where I was. Apparently, I was here, but I I, I don't remember being here at all. Uh, they, they, I'm so sorry. And he looks at, um, I also have mom brain. The couple. So <laughs> the couple. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the couple. Eliza is her name. El Eliza and Alamance. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I I don't know what happened. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. 
I'm, I'm glad you're all right. I, I don't know what happened. I just, one day I, I woke up and, and I was here and you were, you were getting better apparently because um, one of the clerics stopped by and asked me where I was because I hadn't stopped by in two days and apparently that was quite strange even though I had no idea that I was stopping by in the first place. I asked her why I would be stopping by the temple. She gave me the strangest look and said that, that you were sick and that I'd been coming by for weeks. Which means I lost weeks. At least. We started Or just stuffing pancakes in her mouth at the moment. So oh, she's gonna get up and go get that tea, that like as they're talking, and be like, "Okay, we're taking this." I'm just gonna get the red tea. <laughs> we really do need to know everything <laughs> you're eating before you lost all your time, though. Pancakes. Um. Well, just uh, lots of you know potatoes and, and meats that I would get down at the and he like goes through a, a whole list of like vendors that he would uh, get stuff from. Um. But the one thing that does sort of perk your ears up is because the the tea he said he was getting from Zalez, which is very close to where Miko lives. So that does definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the town. That. She lives. She lives right outside that area. That city. Yeah. So it like okay. perks up your ears a little bit when she says that, and he gives you the name of the vendor um, and the location of their stall. In fact, I'll even drink water for it. Hey, do you remember buying all of those teas? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Even the, the red one? Okay, so that means that he had them before he was mind controlled. So this is probably a good. Babe, I rolled three nat 20s in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. With these, my I last year. Random interjection. <laughs> Yo. Babe. I'm on fire tonight. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Announcement. <laughs> My husband just came home. <laughs> so we gather. <laughs> Got, that. Okay. Got that. Uh, <laughs> like, babe, okay, connect the dots. Babe. I came up to get the tea beats. All the ladies say hi. Hey. Okay, so we get the tea beats and we, um, do you have anything else, Katie? Nope. Um, she tucked away the red tea into her bag, not waiting to see if he objected or not, and um, is chilling a little bit now that he's come clean. Uh, so maybe she'll just be like, is there any other details you might have been leaving out? Such as losing weeks and months of time? No, I mean this, um, I, as you say, it, it appears that this tea might be what did it. The woman who sold it to me seemed on the up and up. She was lovely. Yeah. What was her name? What she looked like? Aris. Aris. Uh, she was a uh, Aris. She was a uh, a gnome, young. Looks. Have you seen her there before? Actually, I can't remember. All right. I don't think hmm. so. Okay then. Well, since that particular demon is dead, and she, she kind of, you see, like a little bit of shiver about that one because it's not really a fond memory. Um, all the teas that are still left in the house are perfectly safe for you. They're not going to be able to do that again. But maybe be careful next time you're picking up other new things, okay? Yeah, check ingredients, quite, man. We haven't quite <laughs> solved it yet, but, but what you have now is inert, so that should be safe. I, I really am sorry. I, I, you know, when I left hell, I didn't think that anything like this would ever happen to me. This world is it's a strange place. Yeah, we've learned that hell can sometimes chase you. That's true. Yeah. It's very true. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Should we, like, do we need to... Is he, like, one of these freedom fighters or something? Do we need to... Brain no work. <laughs> <laughs> Can we insight check to see if he's like genuine about feeling sorry about it? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, and by we, I mean not me. <laughs> I mean I can, but uh... <laughs> I can. <laughs> I but like, roll well, I probably dice. Can. Okay. Well, I'll well, roll just in case. Yeah. Probably not. You can both roll. 
Yeah, because Corporal's like, oh, uh, let's 16. see if he's feeling better. And Zashri's like, let's see if we have to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of amping up for a fight, and now I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> no, he, he seems very genuine in the fact that, that, that he's he does sorry. Feel that about it. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, it seems like he probably uh, didn't really know what was happening and then didn't mean for anyone to get hurt and is upset that that has happened. Okay, all right. Well, I think we have a lovely time with our pancakes. Yep, and yeah. eggs and just stuff. And I'm going to message the whole group right before the end of our scene and go, we got some really good information, guys. And some freaky tea. God, yeah, and some that. freaky tea. And <laughs> I think that we're going to have to go see Miko soon. And then oh, that'll it. be awesome. And, well, hmm, I've got some, well, it's not bad news, I'm but... drunk. What's a Miko? <laughs> yeah, that. Cordy, I think you. are missing out on the better end of this deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that, we're going to jump cut. I don't jump even cut. like pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back um, at the tamer. La 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 la. Um, so, who else has been drinking more? <laughs> Maggie. Yep. Okay. Yep. You will make me a con save. Okay. Here we go. That would pro- that would be me too. And... Going well over there. So. Oh <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, it's, it's an eleven. Is it really? All right. Yeah, it's just Let's go. Yeah, ten or lower is a fail. Eleven or nineteen over here. <laughs> tug it is sounds about accurate. <laughs> the same my yeah. first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, tug is fine. Um, the two of you are okay, Maggie. You're you're still feeling a little I'm buzzed, but not like like race. drunk drunk. Um, Sombra's you're a little tipsy, but nothing crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As you guys wait for uh, Cordial and um, Zashri to get back, uh, is there anything that you guys are doing, or are you just hanging out drinking? Just hanging out drinking. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it now? I started at noon. <laughs> is there a door? I'll go with it. I'm dancing on the bench. Table. Whatever is near us. At bar. Let's go. Coyote of Part three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Allie, what did you say? Just, is is there a bar? I mean, uh, not a bar. Is there a uh, darts darts board? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is talking about darts. All right, right. Yeah, the, so the bar is mostly <laughs> empty this time of day. There's like a handful of people here that are eating, but since it's the afternoon, most people are working. We're yeah, the, like we're the party, baby. <laughs> yeah, there's a handful of people scattered around, and they're all just kind of like, is wrong with these two? <laughs> these, these, these girls go crazy. Like, Tiefling just... gang here getting wasted. Yeah. yeah, I'm even gonna like go up to some of them and be like, hi, Maggie Hood. Nice to meet you. Maggie oh, Hood. No. Let's, let's spread the rumors now. <laughs> let's spread the legacy And then now, I'm gonna right? kind of like whisper and I don't know who's close to me. I'm just gonna, here's a copper. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, Maggie. Yeah, no, you can't start giving away your money, honey. Come on, come on. Okay. But I'm no. Robin Hood. Uh-uh. No. They, yeah, but they can't. You. But see, they're not gonna be. They're gonna. They gotta be surprised about it. You can't tell them. You look very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he did too. Oh my heart. Are y'all good in real life? Oh, I'm great. I'm fine. I swear, it's only tea, guys. It's tea. It's literally, okay. I, yeah, I'm really yeah. tea. It's actually I'm more fun. fun to pretend to be drunk oh, than it's actually so be much drunk. More fun. Yeah. I don't oh, like this when I'm drunk. I'm really quiet, actually, when I'm drunk. Um, oh my um, god. All right. So, Tug, you're heading yeah. over to the dartboard to just uh, throw some darts. Is anybody yeah. going over with them? Yeah, oh, why not? Yeah. Um, Maggie, unbeknownst to you, you did play tar- darts with Tug uh, oh, the I'm other sure day. I have. <laughs> so. Probably never won either. Um, 
but you did get some really good information. You helped get some very good information. Um, all right, so uh, you guys tug heads over, you grab the darts off the dartboard. There's not really anybody else around. You just like toss some darts at the dartboard. All right, go ahead and roll d20 for me. Er, let's see, that's plus ranged attack, right? Yeah. <laughs> That is going to be. I'm trying to navigate the like the skinny roll twenty oh, window, I and I'm I'm not so doing it very well apparently. There we go. Cool. That's a nineteen. Nineteen. Oh man. When du- when Tug plays darts in D and D, it's amazing. It's every time. I, it's however, precision yeah, so you- that one. <laughs> So no. here's what I here's what I imagine happening. I imagine Tug walks up to the dartboard, grabs the darts, and immediately walks back to the line and just like no look, yeah. bullseye like total <gasps> Tug, let me try, let me try. Yeah, and Maggie, who is a little tipsy, goes and is like, let me try, and like yanks one of the darts out of your hand and throws it, and it hits like the table over there. <laughs> the guy it goes into somebody's drink. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Like it's super Sounds lucky that you out. didn't hit somebody like in the butt. <laughs> I feel, I feel like uh, Sombra would probably be doing it via Mage Hand. So like Mage Hand, since it could technically it can carry up to ten pounds, so she would be like, "All right, let me try." Okay, <laughs> she'd be like commanding her Mage Hand to do it. As your Mage Hand floats forward, not nearly fast enough to yep. make this look too <laughs> realistic to just there like. There you go. <laughs> Put a pin in it. <laughs> yeah. Still does not get it in the bullseye, though. Nope. Because <laughs> she's tipsy. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's how it's done. Amazing. Right. Uh, Doug, roll me another one. Uh, that is a 27. Jesus Christ. Every time yep. he makes it in there... Drink! (laughs) It's a new drinking game now, folks. All right, yeah, as you get another bullseye, just like, right in the middle. Yeah, this is easy. I'm so good at darts. Go tag! I'm Uh, a dart master. Is there anything else that you guys want to do before uh, Cordial and Zashri come back to the pub? (laughs) I'm just going to randomly, like, look at Sombra and then look at Tom and be like, where are they? Don't they gonna be back soon? It's been Girl. hours. Oh, well, uh, let's, let's make sure. Uh, Cordy, Cordy. You're still there, right? <laughs> and this is when she walks through the door. We're here! Hey. Oh, it sounds really loud now. <laughs> okay. That's she's immediately gonna, gonna go head. get an ale. <laughs> I'm just gonna go I'm ahead feeling and break really bad about because... having missed the party version. <laughs> turn, turn of the day. Head, like, look, they're right there. In the they're, they're here. <laughs> Cordy, I need a hug. <laughs> she kind of stumbles over. Gonna go give her a big squeeze. Okay. We have so much to tell you. We are Same. really, guys. We really are the best investigators. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, but like, really, this time. What? I mean, this time, ah. we've always been the best investigators. I have tea. Don't drink it. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are you it's just cold. holding it out? It's like, it's yeah. It's like, no. it's like probably like demon blood tea. No. <gasps> oh. You cannot have any. Because I, oh, I would have. No. Okay. <laughs> no, Maggie, no. So, um,. As you guys are saying that, Tug like sits down across from you and he goes, okay, okay, uh, no, no, I got this. And he like looks, he looks at Sombra, he looks at Maggie, he's like, I got this. And he's just gonna make eye contact with Zashri and go, <clears throat> okay, spill the tea. 
and he's gonna like look over at the other two like did i did i do that right is yeah. that, that right that was a great joke we're not actually yeah. gonna spill the tea so here's what happened so we went to the temple and we went to go see that couple that were getting all sick and then we talked to them and it seemed like yeah that's probably what they were sick with but the person that was staying with them that was going to visit them all the time was a tiefling and they were like oh actually he stayed here to like help take care of us still so he's still around do you want to meet him and we were like oh my gosh yeah we totally want to go meet him so we went back to their house and he was like making breakfast and like pancakes and stuff and he was like oh hi it's so nice to see you and to have guests or whatever and he was getting kind of sweaty and like a little bit sus so i checked him out and then i cast greater restoration on him and the greater restoration didn't do anything and i was like oh okay well then i guess he really is fine so we went to go see about his teas and stuff and he had this one tea that had like everything in it i knew about it except that like this got black flex in it and i didn't know what was going on with that and then he was like totally lying to us well he didn't know that he was lying to us but he didn't know that he was telling the truth either because he was hiding something from us right so then when he asked about the tea and i just i was like okay zashra are you ready we're gonna have some fun time now and zashra was like yeah we're gonna punch him and i was like no we're gonna tell the truth so i sat down and i was like hey friend so here's what happened and he was like oh no you're right let me tell you everything so it turns out he really was mind controlled and then stopped being mind controlled around the time when zoloft died but he didn't even know it so he felt really bad so he wasn't gonna tell us what was going on but then he did tell us because we found out about it anyway so then he gave us the tea and it turns out the tea's from zelez which is where lunara was getting sick from too and we got the name of the tea vendor so we can go back and we can see Migo and we know probably like where this is coming from <gasps> you guys are amazing but right? i have a very important but what's she saying oh we just got uh, Why the booty snacks, snacks literally just missed the, the booty snacks snacks literally just missed the recap <laughs> that I gave. I'm like, I'm like, uh, Cordy, are you sure that wasn't coffee, not tea? No, I'm absolutely so sure. It's like I, that. You know, oh, tea. Okay, but wow, oh my god, you guys are really amazing. You got a good amount of information. Like that whole time Cordy is talking, I slowly get closer and closer to her face. And then as she finishes, like put my hands on her face to be like, do you know who Robin Hood is? <laughs> um, yes, you smell like beer. Oh, I had beer. Yeah. I'm glad you're back and I'm just gonna like smack her cheeks. Yes. <laughs> Maggie, okay, so Maggie. Maggie cheeks. I guess I'm glad that you are uh, back too. Okay. <laughs> and she's gonna look at Zashri and go and put her hand up for a high five and be like, I told you we're the best investigators. Yeah, I mean, we proved it before, we proved it again. Just another yeah. day. Well, so news, news on oh. our side, uh, Maggie may be getting a name change, not sure yet. Shh. He's not fully convinced. And I think my sister may be in town. She's a bitch. Yeah. Oh. My friend So Dario. what you're saying is that there's still a chance for a fight. Yes. Oh, One yeah. Of the sisters that we met at the nest? The roost? Great. No, you never met Tess. Tess is my sister on my father's side. And so I met her before I met you guys. And let's just say I'm glad that she's been out of my life up until now, because apparently Dario let me know that uh, she uh, may be in town. And uh, when I she was with me, like when we were hanging out, we kind of, you know, got he into a little trouble. Stuff like I did. Oh, Maggie, I thought you were going to keep that to yourself. You didn't tell me to. I know. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's embarrassing, though. Um, Yeah, we kind of did baddie stuff. You know, nothing that serious. But uh, she got seriously arrested. And uh, I don't think she's going to like me if she runs into me. So. We'll handle her. Don't worry. Heck yeah, we will. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like uh, she's in the area, I don't know where, but let's just everybody keep her head on a swivel because she's not the nicest at all. Yep. Uh, where do you guys want to go from here? 
I we're gonna go we to Celez, to right? Nico. Yeah. We are also right. almost Celez? at the two hour mark, so this might be a good point for a break. And then um, if actually if it's okay guys, I think I wanna call it a little short today just because it has been it's been a bit of a day. A bit of a show. <laughs> um, and and if we keep going, we're probably going to, it's going to be hard, tough to find another good stopping point for a little while. Um, that is very fair. So uh, I would say that if you guys want to take the next week to sort of plan what you want your next move to be, um, because there are a couple of options. You guys can um, decide to go back down to Zelez. You guys can decide to see if you can find Sombra Sister or you can track down this merchant. Um, but it is entirely up to you. So, okay. uh, try yes. and figure Track out exactly. down the merchant, yeah. take all their stuff, find Sombra's sister, beat her up, and kidnap her and take her with us to Zelez so that we can then also go to Zelez. <laughs> go back to wow. all three in Zelez. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> to wrap this session, we'll, um, probably would be a good idea to get a room for our day drunk friends and yeah <laughs> because meanwhile in. meanwhile back at the With tavern water. Da, 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 yeah time to put you to bed fully <laughs> giving coppers to like every human in the bar yeah. <laughs> every Which time is more you just do insulting that insulting than anything yeah every time you do that they kind of look at you like thanks <laughs> What? You can pay you to gotta start the somewhere. Robin it. Hood had to start somewhere. <laughs> She's making it rain with, with I, uh, a coin. I also oh want to make uh, Jenna's <laughs> Jenna's side note in chat about Maggie thinking that uh, Robin Hood means that you need to wild shape into a literally Robin. Yeah, Robin in a hood <laughs> with like a little I'm tiny Robin hood. See if I think that. Hold on. <laughs> Intelligence <laughs> check. Please hold. No, unless they're no, so good at it. I don't. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think nothing. I got a 17. I know he's nope. human. Oh or a fox. God. Humanoid. Favorite version. <laughs> Humanoid. <laughs> Humanoid. <laughs> Kitsune, it's fine. Oh my god. Uh, wow. All right. Well, before we sign off, uh, I want to give everybody the chance to uh, tell us what we're Tell us what you are doing, what we are doing, who's doing, what you do what. Things are done. Things are happening. Um, <laughs> Kat, you're below me on screen. Do you want to go? Sure. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Um, what is going on? On my channel, Nerdlandia G, uh, you can catch us on Tuesday for um, a very share earmuffs. <laughs> Um, very intense episode <laughs> of uh, my campaign, uh, Realms of Evanrune, and I think that's actually it until Sabres, maybe? I'm not sure if we're doing it, but... Um, this Thursday we should, right? We're I think we are. Show. I'm pretty sure we are. Uh, so, Evanrune, Sabres, that's all for me. Yeah. All right, Allie, okay. you're next. Oh, oh no, I saw some faces there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so um, I am not actively GMing anything, but there are uh, several projects in the works, including a uh, mini campaign that will be kicking off next month for Bloodlines and Black Magic here on Ladies of D&D. Um, so that will be a super fun three story uh, or three session um, arc so stay tuned for more info on that um we are off this week but next week on eric frankhouse presents we'll be back over force on tuesdays uh and that's about it so yeah okay and um, katie you're next what you got what's up katie uh <laughs> nothing <laughs> Just, uh, just this, uh... One day we're gonna ask you that and we're gonna be like, I'm streaming tomorrow! Yeah. <laughs> hey. We'd be like, this I'm actually the new CEO stream. of Twitch, so... Woo! <laughs> make it happen, please. Gotta, because, like, you know, I wanna make sure people get to share their stuff. This is the only stuff. thing I stream with you guys, so... Yeah. And That's it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, alright, share what you got. Yes, so uh, you can find me at, at that gamer share here on Twitch. 
and I am a variety content streamer. Um, I am happy to announce the return of my podcast, Dice Goblins, which will be coming back next Saturday. Uh, not this, so uh, I'm very bad with calendars. Hold on. So uh, not this Saturday, but next. So that'll be February the 19th. Um, and uh, I will be posting that on my socials so please stay tuned uh and of course uh over on the nerdlandia channel i am your bombastic beefy barbarian cole um so uh, also the president TV. of the um what is it sunrise yeah, it's calisthenics <laughs> club yes yeah, sunrise calisthenics club yeah <laughs> <laughs> perfection a good one man <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, and of course, Kat is has uh, lovingly created a lovely logo for it and everything. Yes. It's amazing, y'all. Uh, and so, yeah, and uh, that's that's what I'll I'll be working on, um, as well as uh, my own um, homebrew campaign. Um, it's it, an an ongoing campaign based off of the one shot that we did last year for Black Girls Code. Uh, it's centered around Bright STEM Academy, so that's very exciting. I've actually got a world map going on. Oh my gosh, I'm excited! Uh, and so now I'm breaking down story beats now uh, for season one. I can't believe it. It's finally happening. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned to uh, to my socials. I am at that gamer share here on Twitch uh, and on Discord and at gamer share on Twitter. All right. And uh, Jenna, what you got? Uh, that's an interesting question, Vanessa. So, first off, I want to start with uh, Ladies of D&D &D is kicking back up for more of our streaming. Obviously, we've had this particular show going the whole time because I feel like us ladies would literally go crazy if we didn't have a chance to just like play this game. So we've been doing this through January, but everything else we've been taking a short break because in December was a lot for everybody. So Killed our programming is about to start back up. Um, starting with on Saturday, I want to say it's 1 p.m. Eastern. Is that correct, yes. Vanessa? Um, yes. We are going to be starting a new mini campaign for 12 Occult Eye, which if you caught it for in December was absolutely phenomenal. Um, Cher is going to be one of the players in that one. We've got Indrani back for that. Um, the GM, actually, sorry, I don't know if the term is GM for that one. It might be Grand Witch. Uh, uh, but that's uh, gonna be yeah. run by, that's gonna be run by Amelia again. She's one of the creators and devs of the game. So we are really looking forward to that one if you like witches and occult and magic and demons and, you know, normal things. Uh, and if you're watching the show, you probably do, then you should, <laughs> you should tune in on Saturday for some, some witchy occulty kind of fun. Yeah. Um, on my end, I am trying to schedule a Coraline themed D and D mini campaign. Hopefully that will start this month. I, for anybody who does not know, am pregnant, which means that Sometimes Things what I schedule hard. just doesn't freaking happen <laughs> because I need to lay down instead. Um, so that might that might be postponed a little bit, but I'm working on trying to get it together. Otherwise, I am still working on the Siren Squad game. It is coming along absolutely swimmingly. Um, let me yes. post that link in yes. chat real quick. And what you can expect from us is I will... I'm about to be doing a couple... Um, just kind of chill like just chatting streams where we talk about like the dice mechanics and putting together dice mechanics and theming your mechanics to your tone of your game and kind of like general dev stuff um so if that sort of thing sounds interesting and chill to you then you could totally join us for that and we'll let you know on socials when those things are happening um and i think for the moment that's it for me so, Vanessa? Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm your GM for this game. Um, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> so for me, um, I am uh, also playing in the 12 Occult game, which is going to be super, super cool, and I'm super excited about it. Um, we did actually also manage to get uh, the woman who played Nova in the In December game is going to be 
the uh, fourth member of our squad. So very excited about that. If you didn't, as Jonah said, if you didn't catch it, it was, oh my God. So good. Her character was literal chaos incarnate and it, <laughs> it was wacky, y'all. It was wacky. Um, so yeah, that'll start this Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, USA Eastern Standard Time. Um, so we're super excited about that uh, again, and I'm really excited to play. Oh, it's going to be great. Um, and then other than that, obviously, we have uh, Bells, which is every Sunday, except for the third Sunday of the month, we take the day off. Um, so next Sunday, we'll be back to, you know, figure out what where the girls are going to go and shenanigan themselves next Who knows? <laughs> um and currently now on wednesdays uh at 9 a.m ish big ish uh i am doing our morning show morning initiative where basically it's mostly me talking to myself about uh D and D stuff. Um, last week I talked about uh, starting a homebrew campaign. Um, what kind of tools I use, what uh, kind of maps look like, how I get the ideas for stuff. And um, this week I'm gonna just kind of talk to myself about uh, how I GM <laughs> and come up with stuff and like you know basically run a campaign and just give you know, tips for anybody or like just to talk about uh, things that you do or things that you want to do or if you have questions or mostly if you just want to sit and make fun of me as uh, Scott and I did, which was great. So Vanessa, you are so <laughs> phenomenal good. for providing that public service. At that time of morning in the middle of the week. I, I've always I always wanted watch them to afterward. like, yeah, I've always wanted to like give you a coffee, especially when I've like been a been fortunate enough to be able to tune in live. Like, do you have a coffee account? Like, can people send you an actual cup of coffee? Like, what do you have that at all? That. Yeah, I, I would love that. Um, yeah, I just uh, it's just nice. And, and last week actually was really awesome because there was a young woman who was starting uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, and she was like, "Oh, what tools do you use? Like, is the where do you get this stuff?" And I was able to throw links in chat. And so I'm hoping that um, she's able to use that stuff to effectively run her campaign. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So uh, speaking. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I was just gonna say, speaking of tools that we use for GMing, I think we might also have a new relationship to announce. Yes. Oh yeah. Thank you. I, oh my, my god! Bad. I knew I was missing something. I was like, there's something. I need to yes. Do. So, um, yes. ladies of D and D is uh, now uh, affiliates with uh, 1985 Games. So uh, that is a very new fledgling baby um thing that we've got going on there but if you guys use the code ldnd l letters ldnd -D, should uh 10 i believe it should get you 10 percent off um vanessa do you have any that info handy dandy no, i'm not at my yet. normal setup no <laughs> me neither <laughs> okay oh yeah you're right next week so, we'll definitely yeah next time yeah. we should have that uh ironed out with a uh special link for you guys to check out some of that cool swag but yeah and uh they're gonna be um sending us some stuff to uh review and um katie i'm gonna bring some stuff new things to the to the table so that we can uh, play test and check out wednesday 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 wednesday, wednesday, wednesday. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're we're super excited. Um, they're really awesome, good people, good stuff. So we're it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool. So I'll be uh, play testing some things that they send us, and then I'll review some of that on the morning show. So you guys should definitely tune in and uh, check the it out. The link for the website is in chat. It's not a specific link. That's like the general check it out link. We'll have a more specific link later. <laughs> yeah. All, All right. Very professional. We are so, we are consummate professionals, uh, but I do think that that's it. Um, so that's it for this week. I hope that you guys will tune in next week uh, to see where this insanity goes. Because yeah, it's do we have a? Right. Do we have a, a, a? Who do we want to raid? Do we want to raid <laughs> anyone? <laughs> Let's see. I think Noam might be on. Who is Noam on? Oh, it's, it's a good raid. They're wonderful. There we go. All right, let's see what we got going. Okay, so for now, bye. Yes. <laughs> bye for now. <laughs>
Bye. Thank you, Chad.